by the end of this video you will have a nice static effect to our main menu we will have a newspaper a night one screen and a office so let's get right into it yo what's up guys it's your most favorite potato back here with another scratch tutorial and in this tutorial we're gonna be working on our five nights at freddy's game so uh we're gonna do a couple of things in this video we're gonna add some static to our main menu we're going to add a newspaper sort of thing to lead into our first night and we're gonna draw up the office so yeah let's get right into it all right so let's start off by working on the static so what we're gonna do is open up a new tab on google right and search up uh static gif um just search up static gif right and then go into images and then pick like one like this yeah this is this is pretty good and then save it right uh and then just call it oh i already have one but just call it static fnaf all right just call it whatever you want and then all right yeah then go back to scratch and then upload your static gif and then you'll see that it's importing and then when it's done importing it just look something like this right and yeah it's already called static for me okay and you can see it has like seven ish costumes but this currently doesn't fit the screen size like our screen is this big but the static isn't as like it doesn't fit the screen so what we're gonna do is we're actually just gonna change its size to like 150 and then you can see it covers up the entire screen um, but what we're also going to do is at a one green flag clicked, a uh, hide. When when green flag is clicked, then we're going to hide the static. And then when I receive menu, right? So when it receives the menu, it will show, go to zero, zero, and then set size to 150. And then also we'll add a forever next costume. So you'll see that when we click to continue, our static does play, but there's a little bit of an issue. Now we can't see the main menu, right? So uh, there's a very simple fix for this. We're just gonna add a set ghost effect and change that to like 75. Now, Boom, we can see the ghost effect and there is a nice overlay of the static. So that is looking pretty nice. And right now, if we currently click the play button, nothing actually happens. Like, um, nothing happens. So what we're going to do is paint a new sprite, <clears throat> call it newspaper, and now uh, I'm just gonna paint some kind of newspaper thing, right? So something like this, right? I'll add a picture of banana. Right, so we need something like this. Um, job needed. A uh, local supermarket hiring, stuff like that. And then I actually make this look like a newspaper. So I'll add some scribbles here to make it look like there's more text. Yeah. Now I'll just add like the big red circle that they had like in the actual FNAF game. So like that right there. Yeah. Boom. All right. And so what we're going to do is in the play button you can see that when the sprite is clicked it's gonna broadcast newspaper so what we're gonna do is add a when I receive newspaper hide inside of the static and what this does and what this does is basically just hides the newspaper when 
the game, like, when we click the play button. And then the newspaper, what we're going to do is when we have, like, clicked, hide when I receive newspaper, <clears throat> show, go to zero, zero, set size to 100, and actually we'll make it fade in, right? So we'll repeat 10 times. Change ghost effect by negative 10. And we'll set ghost effect to a hundred at the beginning. And put that right there. So now you can see that it fades in. But I think that's a really fast fade. So we'll repeat like 40 times, like negative two, does that? I'll repeat 50 times. Okay, my math was a little off there. But I have to repeat 50 times, change it by negative two. And it gives us a nice little fade. So if we test this out, right? Warning, this game contains a lot of, we have this warning screen, right? Then we have air, we have our menu with the static and stuff. Then we'll click play. Okay. All right, I discovered an issue, right? So the thing is, we can't actually click the play button because it's underneath, um, it's under the static, right? So we can't actually click it. So we'll just add a go to front layer. And then we can click it. All right, that's kind of a problem. Uh, let's fix that real quick. Um, we'll add a when I receive newspaper. Then we'll just hide it, right? Copy that uh, and then just paste it into the banana as well and the menu title all right but um there's also a little problem like another problem when we add the go to front layer you can see like you can literally clearly see that the play button is above the static so to fix that we're actually gonna have to create a whole new sprite Actually, we're just going to have to duplicate the play button. Uh, make it only one costume, because it has to be the same size as the play button. And delete the play part of it, right? And call this play button box. Now, in this when I receive menu, we're going to have to add a forever go to front layer. Um, show and... a go to play button and after we do that right we can actually make this go to back layer and then add this when I receive a uh, when the sprite clicked to the play button too. Wait, why is it called play button two? It's supposed to be called play button hitbox. Yeah. Mm. And to make this actually look invisible, here's a little trick I learned. We can set ghost effect to 99.99 and it's basically invisible we can still interact with it so we can still click it and yeah so now we have our newspaper all nice neat uh everything's working all it's all great so now let's draw the office right office off i yes off i office 
All right. And I, it's actually going to be a very, very simple office. So I'm going to start off by, like, drawing, like, a table of sorts. So I have a simple table made here. And let's go ahead and add a floor, right? So just go like that. Make it go all the way to the back layer. And to make this look like a realistic sort of floor, right? Like a 3D sort of floor-ish thing, if you know what I mean. Um, we're just going to use this, like... What is this called? Like point tool, I think. No, reshape, right? We're gonna use the reshape tool and just drag the corners like that. So we I have like a trapezoid sort of shape. And then for the walls, what we're gonna do is like basically the same thing. Except make it run except make it run across uh the point of the floor. And then make it go all the way to the back layer so it goes behind the so it goes behind the floor boom like that right and then just go ahead and add another wall at the very back right here and actually instead of doing this wall oh we're gonna actually size down a square back here like that copy that paste it put that right there and then go like that because this is gonna be our door right here um so yeah uh that's gonna be the office actually let's add a little cup right here just like you know for some details boom like a little cup and yeah okay so that is the office complete i'm pretty proud of it i'm not even gonna lie and it looks pretty good so let's do something right now uh in the newspaper when it says when i receive newspaper we're gonna wait one second Duplicate this repeat 50 part and change that to 2. And actually, instead of wait one second, we'll do like 5 seconds, actually 6 seconds. Um, then hide. Boom. And I'll change it back to 5 seconds. Um, yeah. Then we'll broadcast night 1. Also, you know what? I think what would look good is instead of the repeat 50, um, times have a, we just make it suddenly cut to the night one thing so yeah uh so when i receive night one what we're gonna do is just hide it um switch backdrop to warning screen bg uh, i'm actually just gonna call this blank screen because we're gonna be using blank screens a while for, for like a lot um and what we're gonna be doing is adding some text right call this night display and just like in some color text at uh, right night 1 12 a.m. and then add the usual code when I receive when green flag clicked hide then add a when I receive night one show and then go to zero zero also set size to 100 and now oh wait I forgot about the office uh, let's hide the office for now but uh, let's click the green flag click to continue great our main menu loads click play okay newspaper oh my god wow that's crazy and then it'll just cut to night 1, 12 a.m. And then nothing happens. Because we haven't coded that part yet. Um, in the night 1 display, what we're going to do is wait, is put a wait, like 6 seconds. Wait 3 seconds. And then hide and broadcast office okay and then in the office what we're gonna do is when I receive office just show and then when you like clicked okay hide also we'll add a forever set size to 100 and um yeah and we're also gonna actually do something really cool 
Uh, so let's add a forever loop in the when I receive office, right? And then add a go to. Then put in divided by's, right? Put in mouse position. So like mouse X and then mouse Y. And then change this to like two, I guess. Uh, so if I actually show this right now, you can see that this is parallaxing, but this is way too much. Like way too much. Well, like point three actually, like Oh wait, never mind. Twenty. I forgot. The higher, the lower it is, the more it will parallax. And now you can see there is a very, very light parallax, and it looks really, really cool. Uh, so if we actually just do this, play, yeah, 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 yeah. Right, night one, and bam, and you can see there's this really nice parallax. So, yeah, guys, I think that is pretty much it for this video. If you did enjoy, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one. But until then, peace out.